take one. The videos are at times haunting. The campaign is unique because it's being created by the students. They'll be scripting it, doing the storyboards, they'll be filming and they'll be assisting with the post editing. Having people be more aware might actually get them in the mindset that like this is still happening, that like it's not okay anymore. They've all known about it and they've all sort of experienced it in one way, shape or another. Earlier in the year, Glass Media came to us and Chris was telling us about the project and I had been thinking about it on and off for a few weeks or months. And one day I was driving up to TAFE and listening to my playlist and Reckless came on, which is one of my favourite 80s Oz rock songs. Then I started thinking about how the lyrics apply to issues when it comes to cyberbullying and how we sometimes do things that we probably wouldn't do in real life and are a bit reckless with our words. Um, so I pitched the idea to Chris Boyd. Well, I knew 2018 was going to be a very big year as soon as uh, Rena Monteith, one of the TAFE students, came to me and, uh, and she said, oh, can we use the song Reckless for the soundtrack for the campaign? And I said, yeah, sure, no worries. Having absolutely no idea about how I was going to make that happen. He luckily loved the idea of using the song and thanks to his tenacity, uh, we were able to get the rights to use the song and it's been a fantastic coup, really, to be able to use that iconic song in such a strong campaign. In the end, we got there and it was, uh, it was quite the achievement to, to receive the licence for the song, to give the campaign such a huge boost. It's a very big song, it's one of Australia's biggest hit songs. So that combined with the message that it actually delivers, it, it has its own voice within the campaign, which is vital. The whole class was jumping to get involved in this. My concept for Stop Bullying Now was focusing more on a bystander point of view. I wanted to sort of put the audience in a POV place so they were experiencing what a bystander would experience, not necessarily focusing on a victim or a bully. And there are a lot of other people involved in the whole bullying process. The original concept for the ad uh, was Aaron Riddens. Uh, we co-directed together. Instead of focusing on an individual bullying another individual, uh, we wanted to look at it more in a, a, from a social media angle. So, you know, when these fights break out and all these kids run over and start filming and go on live, that's the big issue. My concept was a um, cyberbullying ad, but it's based on what happens if, if you actually make the, uh, the bully kid angry. The ad itself that we did was all about both sides of cyberbullying. Cyber safety, so as in don't be so reckless with your own privacy, and also don't be so reckless in the comments that you make, so it's sort of like looking at it from both sides. Once we aligned with the four schools this year, Varsity College, Pimpermar Secondary College, Kumar Anglican College and Rabina High School, we knew we had to produce you know, these four concepts to the highest level and, and we think we've achieved that. We think that the message is really strong. One of the biggest surprises this year for me was the extreme amount of talent that we came across within the high schools. All of the drama kids were amazing. We literally hardly had a take which we couldn't use, which is phenomenal. The kids were so well prepared, they were thrown in the deep end, and this is subject material which is quite difficult to work with as well. So we're so happy to see that there's such amazing talent on the Gold Coast. And on top of that, to help nurture and give these kids a professional experience was also a great thing for us. The kids are awesome, great drama group. They had a lot of ideas, uh, full of energy. Yeah, really easy to direct. Uh, the process of the students was, uh, yeah, it was really good. Most of them have done acting as uh, extras and in local projects on the Gold Coast. Uh, working with the school students was uh, really good. I thought they were quite mature for how old they were, what grade they were in. Uh, they did a really good job and we're taking direction from me and other members of the crew I mean, they helped contribute to the storyline as well and develop that with me. Really quality actors, it was very hard to choose because we only needed a few but the ones that we chose were really great so and they did a great job. Glass Media are really good to work with and it gave all of us an opportunity to use gear that we wouldn't usually have access to. It was awesome working with Chris and Tom. We had the opportunity to go down to their production house and see how they work. Chris and Tom were very direct 
and they're um, directing. Working with Glass Media was a fantastic experience. They really walked that line of being there to help but not taking over and that was fantastic because they let me make the decisions as the director but when I wanted advice they were standing right next to me ready to give it and their advice was good advice. So they really let us have creative control of the project and I think that was fantastic for all of us. Another factor that's elevated uh, the campaign in 2018 has been the sponsorship that we've been able to secure. Black Magic Design has supplied us with the amazing cinematic cameras, these ultra high definition cameras that we shoot on. They provided us like over $20,000 worth of camera equipment to use for the, for the three weeks during the shoot. On top of the Blackmagic sponsorship, we also got some uh, camera equipment from CamEquip out of Brisbane, which really helped. Study Gold Coast through the Student Hub was a major supporter. They came in with a grant that, that really helped us pay for essentials, for, for catering, uh, for uniforms, for all of the, the sort of the basic things that we needed to get for the production. They're a great organisation here on the coast, helping out students and promoting the Gold Coast as a fantastic place to come and study. Event cinemas, what can we say? The whole event complex at Coomera is just amazing. The VMAX cinema is uh, state of the art, cutting edge, and we're just so happy that we can screen these groundbreaking commercials in their best light in this cinema. Now that I've seen the finished product, I'm really stoked with how it's come out. I think we all, as a team, did a really good job to bring what I'd initially wrote down on a script to life. Now I've seen the finished product. Yeah, I like it. It's um... It's very impacting and it's very straightforward to the point and it has the cyberbullying uh, aspect to it. It's really great to see the finished product up on the big screen. It is as I expected it would look. It was, it's very close to what our original storyboarding was. It was really great that using the talents of everybody involved, we were able to get that finished product. They've all valued the hands-on learning through acting, editing and producing. This experience has been really good to learn, like the pre-production sort of um, aspects. The establishment of the Queensland Anti-Cyberbullying Task Force earlier this year demonstrates bullying is more prevalent than ever before. It is hoped that student-led initiatives like this can help to drive the change. It's great for the students as well because they feel like they're doing something that's, uh, that's going to have a long-term effect in the community. The project and the campaign have taken a massive step in 2018. It's mainly due to the talent that we've been able to find and work with at TAFE Gold Coast with their screen and media students and with the four high schools that we've worked with. The level of local talent on the Gold Coast is just, it's huge and we as a company really try to back that because we think that uh, our industry should be grown from the ground up and there's more than enough talent here to make that happen. They just need to be backed in the right way and that's what we're here doing. On top of that, they're putting this fantastic message out to combat this problem, which is a worldwide problem. These kids, they're brave, they've done it, and now we have this groundbreaking campaign to actually create more public awareness and to make people think about the issue, to start conversations, and we really believe that these four commercials do exactly that.